Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today it's time for part two of the epilogue as John Marston or Jim Milton <laughs> as he called himself. Oops. Ugh. Wrong buttons now, guys. Now I'm used to play Ghost of Tsushima instead. So now we're gonna press a lot of wrong buttons. <laughs> Let's see the map. Um... Whee! Yeah, we're closest. Oh, we're in the middle between those two. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what Sadie wants. So follow up on Sadie's telegram by meeting her in Valentine. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Yeah, in the telegram we got from Sadie, she told us we uh, gonna meet her up and there's a lot of money involved. Uh, so yeah, we need money and it's of course fun to meet an old friend as Sadie. So this is gonna be really fun to see what her mission is gonna be. Uh, yeah, what we're gonna do in her mission. We're here guys, we're back in Valentine. It feels weird. Legendary animal territory. Nah, no, I don't think so. Uh it feels weird to be back here. As John instead of Arthur. You know, we've been we've been through a lot with Arthur here. Saved a lot of people, been in bar fights, having this amazing party with Lenny. My little girl. Yeah. She found I just gotta bet this is Sadie's horse Hello? because this horse was really cool. Never seen the colors before. It's like pink. You did good. Pink and brown and dotty. Cool. So she's in the saloon. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, <laughs> Bubba? Who this girl thinks she's telling anything to? Oh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Or what? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, you don't mess here. with her. Well, us all. You! You! Get out of here! <laughs> You don't mess with Sadie. John Marston. <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor. Badass as always. Lie. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't yep. do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke. Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She. She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope. West of Black. Beecher's Hope. I'm yeah, that's it. Kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> well, it's legal. I'm usually. Then. Maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from Yeah, the I knew that was her yeah, horse. I knew it. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No. With a pan. He's an accountant, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. 
Oh, we're going to Strawberry. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. Micah. Someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always oh, said really? if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't true. Revenge. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. I remember where we when we were in Strawberry rescuing Micah with Arthur. Can that I mission was so so action filled. See what you can find. That's the least you like can say. I said feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald forty five. Okay. You hit him that way. I'll yep. get you in a bit. Forty five. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Okay. What about you then? You have information for me? You seen a? You seen a oh. bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45. No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's huh? in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Sure. Good lord. Yeah, we got the general store over here. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah, I'm looking for a fella. A New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Do they have a Welcome Center here in Strawberry? Okay. Yeah, it's the motel. Fancy house. Jail. <laughs> Next to jail. <laughs> Amazing view. Look at this room over here. Amazing view over the jail. <laughs> Welcome to Strawberry. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, hello. You seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, really? <laughs> uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. If you say so. <laughs> what now? Yeah. What? Who are you talking to, John? What about what now? <laughs> 
Okay. Don't jinx it, please. Number three. Is it here? Yeah. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Open the goddamn <laughs> Oh! Oh my god. No, no, I'm pressing the wrong button as you can see. Oh! Sadie! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! <laughs> Oh, we missed the horse. We gotta get after him. Yeah. Remember, we want him alive, though. Alive? Okay. There he is. He went right. We got a noob horse, guys. I don't know how this is gonna go. Damn, that was mean. Don't push his uh, timber or trees on the way. Oh! Nathan! Come here. Oh, there's a house here. In the middle of the forest. Okay. Damn, the horse stamina. I'm worried. Oh! Oh! No, I was too slow! I was too slow. Too freaking slow. What the hell? There, there. Easy. Yeah, Sadie, I'm no, I'm so freaking slow right now. This is going terrible. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. What well, you caught there? Well, you there? A big nasty fish I got here. Me. Now, hold still, mister. Ah, yes. We're gonna loot him first. That's for that, Mr. Kirk. Ooh, chocolate Real bar. <laughs> I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, That's part of the job, you know. Is a, is Loot them. Woman. How, how you buried, sir? None of your business what I am. <laughs> she made me do it. She broke me. Hey, ah, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Oh, I put, <laughs> speak to the bank over the black I put it on the wrong on horse. Property. I should have put it on Sadie's horse. So I've got Oops. a couple of other leads I the game help us. with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. <laughs> yeah, that was a bronze mission. I get that. We made a chase pretty bad. <laughs> so slow. Um. Hang in there, girl. Yeah, so that was a sadist mission. Um, we got a parcel or a letter that we haven't picked up. Maybe we should pick that up on our way to... Ansel and Etherton. That's the bank man. Okay, here we are. Let's see who this can be. Welcome, friend. From Hey Bounty. Do I have a bounty? Glad to see you on the up and up. Nope. Uh receive mail. Went eight days ago. Mayor Lemont. Okay. Monsieur Kilgore, I could not have wished for better fruits from our unconventional partnerships. The works hanging in our gallery are quite rightly authentic authenticated, and that grubby little man from New Haven has acquired some humi humility. Excellent. I do hope you might be willing to work with me again. Many of more secure positions that yours, yours would do desperate Folks things to be in the good graces the of the mayor and you century. and to I use an Americanism. I feel I still right. have some ships to cash. I trust you understand my meaning. 
As before, come to the back of the mayoral residence one night and show Mark will let you in. Thank you again. Okay, so this was sent to Arthur, actually. Uh, because Mr. Kilgore, that's Arthur, right? Uh, so we can take over this business. Why isn't the map coming up? Thank you. Uh, okay, let's do this then. Hmm. This is cool, guys, because we actually- I just realized now, when we rode over here, I saw that we haven't been here before. This is a whole new environment, you know, the bushes and the terrain is all different from what, what we are used to. So I realized that we actually go into Blackwater. We haven't been here with Arthur at all. We haven't been allowed to go here, so I guess we are allowed to go here now because it's so many years ago, or... Yeah, it should be, why? So many years ago, uh, since the crew were here and doing that robbery and, yeah, all that shit. So now we're here. I wonder if the bank are open this time of the day. Yeah. 835. Let's see. Oh, yeah. No, it was closed. Yeah, we waited. That's so cool. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? <laughs> now, which folk? <laughs> Mr. Geddes? Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on yeah. account of it his lack doesn't of farming sound good. skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. That went smooth. Never thought that was gonna go like, boom, we're done. We're getting a loan. It was all right. I I guess that's thanks to Mr. Geddes. I guess that's why. Because that went so smooth. No problem at all. So we got, let's see, we got a bounty poster. Yeah, we got the saloon. Barber, theater. Yeah, we got everything, general store. Maybe we should go to the barber right now. Maybe we should have done that before we went to the bank, actually. We look a little like a hobo, you know, with this pretty long beard. The clothes aren't on point either. We haven't taken a bath for so long. So yeah, long hair as well. Let's see. Maybe we can just fix us up a little bit. Hi there, come on in.
Okay, guys, I just went for a clean shave, actually, and didn't do anything with the hair. Look how different we look. Like, damn. New person. Oh, it's raining outside. Uh, yeah, so we look a little bit better now, I think. We can still keep the hair. We don't need to be perfect. Like, we're still a farm boy, right? We can't all be too perfect. Oh yeah, as of Atherton, there are squ squatters at Beecher's Hope that may need to be moved on. Yeah, we can do that. No problem for John. so fun to do this mission in the weather though. <gasps> what the hell? They're dead on this wagon. They're dead. OMG. Never seen anything. No, poor horse. Poor horse has arrows in it as well. What the hell has happened to you guys? Arrows all the way are here. They don't have anything to loot. What? So curious. Oh, there was a woman as well. I'm gonna loot. I know we're gonna get bad honor for this. But I want to see if they have any ladder. No. No, don't pick up stranger. What? Can we maybe loot him as well? No. No. Skinner brothers. So that's the person who had done this. Damn. No. I was hoping we were gonna get a letter or something. Oh, that's so hard. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Did you see that? Lightning. Oh, look Easy at this. Now. It's a horse. What happens here over at Blackwater? Like, damn. This was not a good welcome for us. Oh, look at it. So cool. Okay, I wonder how it's gonna look, this Beecher's Hole. There's scatters over there. Oh my god! There's scattering people, scatterer, scatterers, <laughs> if you can say that. Oh, is this it? Oh, it's so small! Yeah, there's a person there. Probably a Skinner. A Skinner boy. <laughs> what are you doing here? This is our property now. Please leave. Can I help you, friend? Can I help you? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. They're not gonna be happy. I ain't sure. Some <laughs> he only has one shoe. Says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it. You mad? That's what he says. Oh, okay. one more with a and weapon. How come we live in here? I ain't sure. Yeah, because you're not paying. You're not pay give money. Get the hell Never. Out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Really? Looks like you made your decision, then, partner. Oh! Boom! 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 Shoot! Shoot! No, we're missing the last guy. Come here, you stupid boy. Where are you? <laughs> Punch him! Okay, we could have shot. There we go. Ooh. Okay, this house was much smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do there. Okay, so we cleaned the house up. That's a good beginning. Going back to Blackwater. you the man with two names and no past <laughs> come on in how'd you make out well let's just say there are no more squatters okay well 
I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. A lot of paperwork. <laughs> now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> You're like, oh, Lord. What have I done? <laughs> well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was oh, dead, boy. Oh, no. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. Of every person we can meet, it's uncle. I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. He hasn't changed well, a bit. It looks the care. same. Not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, Will. <laughs> huh? Come on, then. All right. Yeah, he is skeptical. Yes, as Arthur. Arthur was also skepti skeptical. I'm really Look how much on. hair his horse has in his nose. Look at it. It's so hairy. <laughs> it's so hairy in the nostrils. Let's go, girl. Okay, are we going to oh, beach yourself? Yeah. With uncle. He's coming with us. Don't make you seem interesting, it makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I. A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Called oh, on a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but. I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this Thanks for that, you, Uncle. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Yeah, there's so much crap. So much crap everywhere. Oh. 
We have so much to do. This is it. Look at her. So small. Okay. And Hobos has think? been living Why there. Exactly. Did you buy this dump? Abigail? <laughs> yeah. Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? Yeah, you don't it's have so a dry here though. Got a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Is he actually going to sleep though? Like, I'm showing you. <laughs> I'm showing your our new place to you and the first thing you do is go in there and lay in the same bed as a homeless person with probably lice and like fleas. He just lay in there like I gotta take a nap. See you soon. I'm stuck here with you now. What's happening? Ooh, part two. Features hope. I didn't know there was uh, more parts in the epilogue. I thought there was just epilogue, nothing more. Oh, the fence is up, John. Good work. Such a handy man. Oh, but the house. Oh, what did Gentry? Gentry? Look at the house. We have a lot to do on the yeah, house. It's me again. And the rain is coming, it's always raining here. Why is it so dry in the soil there? Because it's raining all the time we are here, it's raining. <laughs> oh! What happened? Weird. So uncle is uh, sleeping? Yeah, he is. Surprise. Surprise he's sleeping. Working hard? Working hard? Oh, I am overdue. Yeah, sure. I, I get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up. Or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof <laughs> I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get out! Ow! Ow. I'm getting hurt. Oh, no, I, I, to tell you. I went into town and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Why? Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Ooh. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing. That too would good be so either. much fun to see Charles. I hope that's true. Then we met Sadie, Charles, hopefully, and Uncle. Back in the rich man's town again. Right. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. Alright. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, me neither. Alright. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Nah, of course. The saloons, <laughs> yeah. You take the slums. Good morning, sir. He's gonna be stuck there otherwise drinking. <laughs> Not doing anything good. I saw that our dead eye is really low in the core. Yeah, we can take a cigar. Okay, so the general store should be in here, I guess. Hello, new face there. Or it's not a general store; it's called uh, fence, right?
Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Breath. Oh, I can't craft. Okay. Okay, so we got a location out of him. Enjoy the fight. He's fighting? Is he like fighting in. Uh, you know, battle cage? Something like that? For money? Or is he just. I don't know. <laughs> oh, here's Uncle! Oh, good mm -hmm. lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. And he told me Charles was here. Folks, they love us some <laughs> Not one of life's great when mysteries, it turns massacre. out. <laughs> and you are a killer. We both know Is what that Charles? Do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so are you. Oh, that's so that's so good to see what are you. Him. Doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just. I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. Mm. And you like that? Of course not. So. So. Let me go place a bet. Come on. <laughs> Man. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. <laughs> bet against Charles. Sure, I'm a man. fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle. Oh, that was a lot of money. Of ancient warriors and a not so noble sad. Oh, they're actually fighting here. Left, a ferocious battle from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right. An Indian Hercules, the savage, <laughs> the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything <laughs> else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. <laughs> Try and stay on your feet, you hear? What is this? Come on, Charles. You can do it. Yeah, beat him. Beat his white ass. <laughs> it's fun that we can actually boo on him. Oh, <laughs> it'd be so mean. Like, he's our friend. <laughs> that is Micah. Yeah. That's why he wins. Come on, lone wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Yeah. Kivo's gonna get mad. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it yeah. goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Black Rock. Your uncle is happy. Okay. <laughs> I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns of room. <laughs> You're useless. I... <laughs> deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Sure. 
I'm a deep thinker, no. This way. Forty dollars. Thank uh, you. My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a Arthur. chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur. Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in the <sighs> scrimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have. Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel mm -hmm. with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. We I'm know. a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good <laughs> man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has yeah. to rattle a fella. You know, rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was yeah, it was more about. an understanding, yeah. actually. He became an even better man makes sense. when he realized. Anyway, I, I think. heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Mm hmm Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died really? in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> oh. Yes, some folk is strong in ways you okay. can't see. Everything that happened. Yeah. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those yeah, those guys. We don't want to those guys look suspicious. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. Oh, I've been here now. <sighs> hey. Come over here. What now? <laughs> well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> <laughs> what a gunfight, huh? Oh, witness. Oh, wanted. Yeah. Oh, it's the worst thing to have gunfighting sound to me. Oh. It's the worst thing. Because the police are everywhere. Okay. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Sand and knee ain't short on police. No. Remember that. Ooh, Only two. You run over a man. <laughs> Good so far. <laughs> No remorse, he is going. Uh, the Didn't they even mention it. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get the shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. I think we're clear. Nice. If I ever want to go back, remind me hmm. that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. <laughs> John! Charles! <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs>
Okay, so we're back. At the beach, there is hope. You can craft the items as the main campfire. Okay, so we got the Sadie mission and we got Uncle. <laughs> Let's do Uncle. Charles is here. That's good. Ah, uh, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles? <laughs> Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay. With you. <laughs> oh my god. That's the goddamn truth. Now you used to be decent company, but Who now says you're that? worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine. <laughs> Wow. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. <laughs> I've had better nightmares than this dream. <laughs> oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. <laughs> I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. <laughs> what are you trying to say? He's it's so awful. mean. It's a dumb. <laughs> well, house, it is. It actually is. Go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. <laughs> Build a house a lady set foot in. Yeah, because that house is touch. miserable. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Uh-uh. That's true. Now, Uncle knows. I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Here it comes. Come on, horses. Yay. <laughs> We're not going to miss that house. See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Mm -hmm. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. Uh, but if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that we need we a <laughs> bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping? Oh. Charles, make him work. <laughs> Whip him if you have to. <laughs> yeah, that would've been good. He's gonna go and take a nap again. I just know that. It's always okay. napping. <laughs> uh, yeah, the horse needs. Oh, we don't have anything for the horse. Well done, girl. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, Sadie is in Blackwater. We're gonna go and do that mission. Sadie said she would meet you in Blackwater. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's something about Micah then. Because she heard some rumors that he's back in town or something like that. Uh, or it's just a new bounty maybe. That's That would be good because we need the money. Can I see? We've got you now, you piece of what shit. the hell? No. For real. Oh, oh. With bow and arrow, for real? Where did you go, you piece of shit? Oh, they're coming. They're really coming for it. There we go. One more. Oof. They had no chance against us. That's how you do it. She's out. No, she's sitting here. Yeah, I thought she was outside Hello, first. <laughs> John, come sit down. Sure. You uh, you got any work? You? Yeah. What is she There's eating? That looks Old country's getting not robbed, good. Robbing or stopping robbers? Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you exactly? Me. In my time, all three. But same as most What people. is that? Like a blob of yeah. something. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. 
How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? T murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fucking <laughs> women. I was bringing him in, and I got robbed Ooh. by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. Yeah, that was my question it's too. Real good. Is it worth it? Plus, yeah. I don't much like getting robbed. Yeah, that's no true. <laughs> Come on. Where is it? We're heading again. She say. has too much pride mm. to be robbed now. and let it be. Yo, come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course Look at Sadie. Do. Oh, what a woman, right? Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, <laughs> Let's ride! <laughs> we heard that before. Okay, Sadie, yeah, where are horse? we going? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Mm -hmm. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. Mm, he's nice. Nice looking. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north, or gone off somewhere else, or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. <laughs> Besides uncle. Abigail? Uh, <laughs> Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, Maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the lake. Oh, that would have been so I've cute. Done that all before. Can't Close as again. neighbor is Sadie. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. <laughs> you heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out. For who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was mm -hmm. a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's you should. There. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But <sighs> not now. Come on. So good to see that those two are so literally happy to see each other. I really like that. Mm -hmm. 
sentry. They'll be down there. So, mm -hmm. James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. <laughs> Yeah, I can see really far. Oh. Sick. Why are you getting down? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, because Let's we're going down. <laughs> I ain't sure it. Fine. What the hell, please? Thank you. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> and that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just worked for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Come on, lady. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. They'll be coming through here. Keep an eye on them. Whoa. thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <laughs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking mm. down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Ooh, sneak, threaten, shoot. Um, no. Make up your mind, John. Ah. Okay, okay. Uh, threaten. I reckon you threaten them, and I'll cover you. Okay. 
Get over there and cover me. Ooh, cool. Much funnier to shoot, guys. That's why. Oh. Give it back to me, or I'll murder every one of you. I'm gonna give you ten seconds to walk away. Ten, nine, eight, seven. No, okay. They don't want to walk away. Oh my god. Who's left? This dude. Yeah, I need to shoot this guy first, Sadie. There we go. Okay, so we got some dudes over here. He's sneaking up on us. I don't see them. Oh, there you are. It almost looked like Uncle. <laughs> oh, here you are. Ooh, the hat. Where? Oh, there you are. Far away. Shot our head up. There we go. What? How could that miss? Oh, Sadie is so far ahead of us. Let's move up. We take him. Okay. I loot him first. That's part of the job. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Are you with her? What's it look like? Let's go. You good girl now. You gotta kill us both. Now we can't get the crowd. Yeah, it's gonna come, people. I knew it. Oh my god. Oh, okay. We're going here. Okay, Sadie. Thanks for the head up. Look where you're going. 
Damn, this is hard. To ride and shoot at the same time. Like... <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing right now. Yeah, yeah, right. Someone else? Help me? No, there. Oh my god. He flew. Yeah. I think we might be free of Ride for it. Oh, we made it. You need to do it in your pants. Serious? <laughs> yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. <laughs> I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me. Then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. <laughs> I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to <laughs> shut him up? Mm, my pleasure. No, let me speak my piece. There's no Never. <laughs> Mr. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. <laughs> Bad dog. Bad <laughs> dog. <laughs> That's right. Work ain't easy, John. No. But I can see now it has its rewards. <laughs> That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. You brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Here he comes. Put you in your cell. Just put him on the bed. There you go. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, <laughs> and James Langton's dead. We <laughs> By him. the way. Why'd you do a thing Ooh. like that? It was him that robbed That me. policeman looked okay. like a ghost or like a zombie. I don't know. He looks scary. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well... If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Ooh, 200. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. All right, girl. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay. After choosing your approach, escape with Shane Finley without fi within five minutes. Ah, oh, okay. No. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Albert Cakes. Uncle said you can buy a pre cut house in Blackwater. Okay. We had another mission, it looked like. No, that was that was it. Oh, we got to Charles Chatonet. 
Investigate the commotion. And Henry Lemoore. Maybe we should do a stranger or, yeah, a side mission, guys. What do you think of that? I think we can do that. Uh, because I think we're gonna do that and then we're gonna end the episode, actually. Uh, I think that's gonna be a nice thing to do. I'm gonna take the stage coat. Stage coat? Coach? Not the stage coat. <laughs> to Saint Denis. So let's see. Need to hit the trail? Hop in! Yeah. Can I get a ride? Where can these old wheels get you to? Can you take me to Saint Denis, please? Best settle in then. This will be a long one. This is gonna be long. <laughs> Okay, so we're in, in Saint Denis and we're closest to Char Charlie Charles. Closest to Charles, so let's go and see. Is Charles the painter, the French painter that Arthur met? We got this Scrabble from him, a naked woman that he told us maybe it can be worth money or maybe not. We can use it as toilet paper. I think he said that. Hey, French, come here, man. Trust me. You want to hear this. I promise really? you gonna want to hear this. What? Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. No. Yeah, now it's too open here, but um, follow me and we'll chat. Hell this no. Don't seem right. Hey, you won't know till you know. What's the harm in finding out? Oh my what god, I'm too scared. For? Um, uh, am I going? No. You don't no. seem right. This don't seem right. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. All right. If you ain't interested, just move on. Quit wasting my time. Oh my god, my heart, my heart rate raised there, like... No, I don't trust him. No, 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 no. I guess he's gonna rob us and then we're gonna lose all that money. I can't... I can't do that, guys. We finally got some money, you know. Oh! The commotion. Where? Here? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's the painter! No, 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 no. Stop it. Who the devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here! This cat! I said, get out of here! I'm going. This... I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? You've been mm. amused for years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey! You gonna do right mm -hmm. by this fellow's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free! Mm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Was that it? Yeah, that was too short, guys. Okay, he wants us to meet him at his gallery. <laughs> That's Charles. He's a funny character. I really want to see more of him. Yeah, that was too short. We can play uh, Henry's mission as well. I don't feel ready to end the episode. Not yet. Can play one more. You stop! This is the law. Screw the really? Law you. We can beat him. You moron! What did he do? Thief. Beat him. What? Damn you. What? Why did- OMG. Okay, I'll give up. I give up. I give up! Why can't I give up? I'm just gonna give up. Lawman. Surrender. What was that, guys? It was a thief. Why couldn't we just beat him down? Like, you can do that, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> he was a thief, come on. We are just gonna surrender because we're in Saint Denis. We're screwed there. We can't escape. We need to pay off our time here and just be done with it. <laughs> Okay, a new day to do something. Uh, let's see. Henry Lemo is disappeared because it's not night time. This is Charles, yeah. But we got a stranger mission here that we haven't even met. We haven't activated. We don't know who it is. So let's go over there. <laughs> okay, probably him we need to speak to. Yeah, I think this mission was available as uh, Arthur as well. I remember there was a stranger mission here okay, at this pond, but I didn't do it. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. That was not nice. Here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, he's a scientist. You are the great no, genius. Sure. Uh, so for sure. Poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Uh, European toy maker? No, I mm -hmm. am a fucking genius with poker up the ice. Like I say. <laughs> a lot of ass. <laughs> Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes. You meet him. Professor what is that Marco creepy Draghi. man standing up there <laughs> the one, the silver tongue American beside the betray. tree? Did you see him? And not pay the money to. Yes. He told to shit, man. Okay. What's the toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Huh? A toy boat? <laughs> yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity <laughs> in ways you cannot see. Oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's a ways toy I boat. cannot see. And still, toy the testers will not come. It's just a couple of old I ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> oh, chante, hello, hello, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, my friends, you are about to witness history, a demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old, oh. but maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. Are you calling us a buffoon? Conspire, you morons. Yeah, that was the dude that was standing up beside the tree. I saw him. Ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, <laughs> show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. It, it is easy. Come, any buffoon, moron come. Could do it. And I am about to prove that. Here, take this and this and... Okay, this is gonna be embarrassing if we don't make it. We actually are a buffoon. Use these ones to steer and Ooh. this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Oh. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! <laughs> and I have certificate. Oh, look out! Look out! Look out! You see what he's yeah, done? wasn't even no close. No like telegraph, no police Please. system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is... I think it's 
those poor boys on the HL you put a lot of work in this. To a mere five on the Why economy. is it mines in this go. pond? I wonder. <laughs> All gone for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is. What really a weird important. mission! This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, the <laughs> will use I'm gonna shoot a missile on that boat. The little sailing boats before they get to other side of the <gasps> Yeah, we're actually gonna do mass. that. I was just kidding. Attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart car. Okay, no, that's not a sailboat. I thought we actually gonna shoot her. That would have been so much fun. The, steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison Wrong. to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or Get fire. coal or gasoline. No. This is too close. Race We're gonna blow up ourselves up. Oh, close. And funding from us. And funding from you, of course, but what thing to fund? What an okay, we're we're fine. No we're fine. Stupid enough to pass this up. Not even dim with here. Do you really all work on your salesmanship? Ha! <laughs> Americans. Look who rules the seas. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. Full proof. Yeah, okay, we only hit one. Foolproof. <laughs> but you are. <laughs> As I say, any fool. So happy. Thank you, thank He's a really crazy professor. It is the stuff of life, <laughs> sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Hmm. Um, and An I invitation. You thank you for that. My Wasn't this the dude that was rude to us? Called us a buffoon? Should be him, right? You can't do anything. Ex excuse me? Excuse me. No, it's probably not him. I don't know. Couldn't do anything. Uh, no. Why is it not on map? Thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got Charles mission. And then the bank man, so we can order a house. Yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna actually end the episode here, as I told you. We played two stranger missions instead of one, because Charles' mission was so short. Uh, that was the painter or the artist that we actually met as Arthur. And uh, yeah, we rescued him from <laughs> a man. And uh, we're gonna see him next time in his... Oh, they don't want to invest. They didn't want to. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna see him the next time in his art gallery, it sounded like. Oh! No, did you see that? No, that thing was pretty good, actually. He has some good things. Do you think we can talk to him? He's sad now, he's upset. Okay, go. Anything no. else I can help you with? No, no, you've done quite enough. Now you can leave me alone. Oh, poor man. Yeah, so uh, we were on our way to do uh, Le Mans. I think his name Henry, Henry Le Mans. I think so. Uh, mission, but it went uh, offline because it's daytime. So we met this professor instead. Yeah, so he invited us to his home and invited us to come over when we have time. So I'm looking forward to see 
what he's up to at home. Some other experiments, I guess. And yeah, we are done saying this mission. We met her again uh, after a long while. And we also met Charles again. So Charles and Uncle are with us at Beecher's Hope right now. Yeah, so right now we've taken the loan for the house. We bought Beecher's Hope and now Uncle and Charles is with us there. We broke down the whole house, <laughs> the shit, shit house or dump house as Uncle is telling us. And yeah, so the plan is to build up a new house so Abigail and Jack can come and see the house and want to move in with us again. Yeah, and there's going some rumors around, uh, not about Dutch, nobody has hear, heard anything about him, but actually there are going rumors about Micah, but yeah, we're gonna see. Of course we want our revenge, but yes, John told Sadie it's not the time to do that right now. We have other stuff, other things to do, so it's not our priority, but but I am saying if we if we see Micah or even getting a hint or a clue where he is, we're going. We're going. <laughs> Uh, yeah guys, so it feels great to play as John even though I love playing as Arthur, but it feels great to be in in this story again and uh, being a cowboy again. It's amazing. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoy this episode and uh, leave a thumbs up if you do, leave a comment and let me know what you think of this episode and subscribe if you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate it and yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next episode.